I'm Mike Athman from Autometer Products. Today I have our BCT460 full electrical system analyzer. I'm going to start by demonstrating the preventative maintenance test and then later the full system test. Step one in the preventative maintenance test or PM test is to remove the battery cover. I'm going to connect the load module to the battery pack. And then remove the control module to start the test. What you never want to do is test the battery by connecting the clamps to the steel bolt. That will give you a false reading. So I'm going to start the PM test by selecting the PM test button. A safety screen pops up that shows uh, the user to wear safety glasses, etc. It's, it's now asking me to select the number of batteries in the battery pack. There are two. The next diagram shows me how to hook up the load module to the battery pack. I'm now going to enter the VIN into the tester. I can enter it either by pressing the camera button, and if the truck has a QR code or a barcode, you can scan that and enter the VIN that way, or enter it manually. The VIN is now entered into the tester. I'm now going to enter the rating of an individual battery in the battery pack. We have a 925 CCA rated battery. I'm going to select the battery type. There are four types to choose from, standard flooded, AGM, or a couple flat plate options, North Star and Odyssey. We have an AGM battery. I'm now going to enter the battery temperature. So the battery temperature is entered from the load module taking the temperature of the battery via an infrared thermometer. It is 71 degrees. I'm going to save that and then start battery tests to continue. Okay, our battery pack passes. So this is a battery pack test, not an individual battery test. If we were trying to diagnose a problem with a truck, we would want to test the batteries individually. This diagram shows me how to hook up the leads to complete the remaining portion of the test. The only other connections are needed. We need to route the small leads and connect them to the back of the alternator. I'm going to press start and then I'm going to turn the ignition key to the run position. This allows the truck to boot up and then also if the truck has a grid heater or glow plugs this allows time for those to cycle on and then off. Can you start the engine? Then we're going to rev the engine to governor speed to get the alternator in its efficient range for the test. All right, I'm going to now enter the number of cylinders in the engine. The tester needs that information to calculate the cranking RPM. And this is a six-cylinder engine. Next, I'm going to choose uh, the type of engine, gasoline or diesel, and then the displacement of the engine. This information is needed to apply the proper uh, voltage drop criteria to the starter cables. We have a 6.7 liter. Here are the results from our PM test. We have a cranking voltage of 11.25, cranking current of 446 amps, cranking RPM of 222 RPM. The cranking RPM is our pass-fail criteria. Anything over 80 RPM passes. This test identified a potential starting V-drop concern, so we should proceed with testing the voltage drop on the starter cables or perform a full system test. I'm going to hit more results. This screen shows the results of the alternator test. Here we te we're testing the voltage regulation. It can fail for too low or too high. It can identify a faulty diode in the alternator. So both of these uh, test results look good. That completes our PM test.